Chambers, are you ready to cool. talk to some folks? Sure. Cool. Let's do it. I want to go first to Clinton in Florida. Hey, Clinton, you are on the air. What is up? Hey, what's up, guys? Doing well tonight. What? I, I Okay, so the description I have here for your call is uh, you wanted to give me the truth about gun control. Okay. Yeah. All right, lay it on me. What is the truth about gun control? Well, the truth about gun control, and this is my opinion, is that it's not about gun control at all. It's not about public safety. Mm, okay. It's about government protection. They're trying to uh, take the guns away from the citizen so that the citizen has uh, no possibility of ever defending themselves against the government if it were to ever go rogue. Some people think it already is. Okay. I could be one of those people that believe that. So you think there's an organized effort in our government uh, that it, it, with the specific goal and aims to remove all arms of like U.S. citizens? Yes, because okay. first of all, um, when it comes to public safety and leading causes of death in America, actual gun deaths are like very low on the list. If you look at uh, cancer, the, Nas the, the, the National Cancer Institute estimates that 1,735,350 new cases of cancer will be diagnosed in the U.S. this year. Mm -hmm. And 609,640 9, people will die. Mm -hmm. One in 285 children in the U.S. will be diagnosed with cancer before the age of 20. Sure. Now, if you look up Wikipedia and you, and you Google some stuff and you look for some facts, in 2017, gun deaths reached their highest level since 1968. Mm -hmm. Now, this is 39,000 deaths by firearm, which 23,854 were actually suicides compared to 14,542 that were homicides. Mm -hmm. Nearly two-thirds of gun-related deaths are people killing themselves, according to Wikipedia. Would you agree, though, that probably, at least... Probably half of the people that killed themselves were Clinton associates so, or ex-Clinton associates. Clinton probably. associates? Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Okay. I was going to yeah. go somewhere else. Wait. We got to oh, back yeah. up a little bit. Hold on. So, wait. Do you think the, the Clintons are behind the I, kind of the efforts I to remove... Oh, okay. I was just joking. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. If some people do look, say there's a very long look, man, list of body counts. With this show, Clinton. okay, you never know. You got to yeah. you gotta see, right? I have to ask. So, okay. That's fine. Um, <laughs> So, just throwing that in there. Abs joke. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you agree, like though, that joke. would you agree that the United States right now has the highest rate of civilian gun violence in the world? Uh, I see. I, I didn't do any research on that. Hmm. I, I did the research on what I could what I could prove about the the level of safe public safety. Sure. How are people dying in the country? Okay. And and we, and we got politicians in the country right now that are allowing uh, big corporations like Monsanto. To, to spray uh, our 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 foods that people are farming with with something called uh, Roundup weed killer. What yeah. they do is they modify they modify <laughs> the fruit or the vegetable to be able to withstand the Roundup, and all the other all the other plants around it will die. Yeah, so, so that's kind of a. They're, they're, that's kind of a separate thing. I, I wouldn't mind talking about the Monsanto stuff, but I would like if we could just pick one topic to kind of explore, if that's okay with you. Yeah. Can we just stick with the gun stuff for right now? Okay, well, for me, it, it kind of ties in together because why is the government going after guns when only, uh, you know, let's see, how many people, how many people per 100,000 die from gun violence in the country? 12 people per 100,000 people die from gun violence. And if two-thirds of them are suicide, that's like seven people actually dying per 100,000 from gun violence. So, so what, what is the... What can is I ask the you, though? The government... So yeah, I, I won't dispute those statistics, especially since I can't look at them right now. I definitely won't dispute them with you. But why is that yeah. evidence that the government is doing something about our guns specifically? Well, because you heard you if you go online, you'll see like people like Bernie Sanders saying, oh, the, uh, no citizen should have a uh, military style rifle. And who is he to say that? Who is he to say what the Second Amendment uh, uh is for people. I, I mean, I don't know. The, if you read the Second Amendment, it, it, it mentions being equal to, in arms, to the government. Do you think people should be able to have, like, frag grenades and stuff? Uh, I, that, I don't... Frag grenade? The, yeah. What is a frag grenade exactly? Oh, like a, a, a grenade... In, how about a grenade in general? What about, like, tanks? Yeah, like... Firearm? I don't know. Is that a firearm? 
Are we talking about uh, tanks and, about and rocket launchers? Grenade launchers, yeah, let's stuff like that. About, let's keep it on the subject. Let's keep it on the subject. Well, I'm just curious because you did say that we should be able to have the same yeah. as our military, right? Like, well, which I'm that's that's an interesting assault interpretation. Assault style, assault style rifles, guns. That's let's keep it on that subject. Let's not go to tanks and rocket launchers and all that. Okay, so wait, so you do, wait, I just want, just to clarify, you do agree that we should, that regular civilians should not have access to those types of firearms? I, I'm not going to even comment on that. Okay. That's not, I don't, I, okay. I don't, because I, it's, it's kind of outrageous, so it's like, if I say that, well, there's you know, some, you should, then there I'm are some people, safe. there are some people who think it is outrageous that citizens could have like AR-15s, for example, you know? Right. Mm-hmm. Now I now. But what I'm saying, what what I'm saying, what I'm yeah. saying is, is there's a major movement right now to 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 take away assault style rifles from civilians, mm -hmm. and there's it's nothing to do with public safety because people are not dying from gun violence. People are dying from the poison that the government is putting on our foods, in our water, in our air, okay, cancer, wait. all kinds of diseases. That's what I'm saying. The government is the government's not trying to help us by taking our guns. Man, okay, because, so because oh, we're gosh. not dying, we're not dying by we're not dying by gun death. I really like being murdered. I really want to let Seamus <laughs> talk in here, like I really do. But well, like, I, I gotta ask, like, okay, so you like you do think that the government is putting chemicals in like our water and food supply system, like at this moment, to poison us? Like, what is the goal there exactly? Okay, well, it's it's it's. It's 100% fact that the government puts fluoride in our water. 100%. Yes, fact. sure. That's, that's, Absolutely. 100% agree with you fluoride there. Fluoride does not strengthen our teeth in, in any way, okay. shape, or form. Yeah, so, um, but is it poison, though? Well, I was not necessarily poison, but what we're putting in our crop and then the off-run from the crop that goes into the soil, that goes into the canal, that washes out at Lake Okeechobee, that goes into the ocean, into all the private canals and the intercoastal in Florida, that is poison. Okay, so the runoff, but that's not the fluoride, right? Like, you do but agree the with that? The, the, fluoride is base, the fluoride is basically an unnecessary chemical that they're putting in our water on purpose. Why now, do you, you think— You have to draw the conclusion. You have to draw the conclusion. What is the purpose of putting fluoride in the public water supply? What is and the purpose? Studies, what, what do you believe the purpose is? I believe the purpose of putting fluoride in the water supply is to make us docile and to, to hinder our free thinking ability or desire. Is it working? I mean, like, can we can we show it? I would believe so, because you have you have hundreds of you have hundreds and hundreds of people uh, screaming whatever they hear on CNN, whatever they hear on Fox. I recently thought, you know, I was like, OK, I lean right. Yeah. And I think that I think that most left leaners are brainwashed. Then what I did is I challenged. Donald Trump on one of his on one of his posts on Facebook talking about something just challenged him. Yeah. And the the response that I got from the from the Trump supporters was like anything that you question Donald Trump about if you're not just saying he's the best president ever and he's and he doesn't he doesn't do anything wrong then you know all kinds of obscenities and they don't even want to they don't so, even want to begin to critically judge or well, okay, well, think for themselves. Wait 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 hold on though so we've both been side, both sides are Clinton, I got to I got to I got to push back here there's a lot I should be pushing back but here here's what I really want to push back on okay like we've been yeah. putting fluoride in the water for like what 50 years like a long time right Literally. yeah like mm -hmm. this has been going on long before Donald Trump was president so who started this and what was their goal? Because also we've switched parties like every couple of years. Like the Democrats have been in control and the Republicans have been in control. If the goal was to have one party over the other, I'd say that it hasn't been doing a great job, right? Well, the, the, it's doing a great job and giving us the illusion that we have the choice because left wing and the right wing is still the same bird. You understand? No, I don't so understand. We're, we're, I really don't know. Like, who, first of all, which part of the government is putting the fluoride in? And, like, I don't know what the goal is. If the purpose is to make people docile, well, we still have people who, like, aren't docile. Like, I I drink public water. I don't think I'm docile. Um, but, like, even even if I was, I'm not sure what that would entail. Like, my dad drinks public, public water. And guess what? We have completely different political views. So, like, I don't know what the goal yeah. is there, you know? Yeah, but what what I'm saying is, so let's look at let's look at society 50 years ago. Okay. All right. Let's look at society today. What when is the last time that you've seen a hundred thousand people stand in one place together and say, "Hey, we stand against this"? I um like, what do you mean by a hundred? Like, like as like a movement. climate rallies that are happening the, right now. The LGBT movement, maybe. Yeah. I mean, 
you know, I think we yeah. could point to a few different movements in this country. Yep, there's climate marches going on right yeah. now in how many climate different marches. cities? March for science, yeah. you know? Yeah, well, possibly. But like I said, um, you know, the, there is a, the majority of people that I know probably would agree with me that there's no need for fluoride in our water. What the cause is or what the purpose is, you know, it, it's, it's up to it's up to us to find out, and nobody okay. cares enough to do so. So maybe it is worth. I still don't know what the purpose is, though, Clinton. Like I really don't Neither know. Do I. I really. I would love to know that. Why what? do they put? Why do they? What they What makes you skeptical about the explanation that fluoride is there to uh, you know enhance our, our teeth essentially? Yeah. Why Why do you not believe that? Because studies have shown that fluoride really doesn't strengthen our teeth. And why does the government care about that in the first place, that they would go out of their way to put a chemical that strengthens I don't know. I haven't seen the studies that you're talking about. But, I mean, like, it's in our toothpaste. It's in, like, a bunch mm -hmm. of other stuff. I mean, you, Hey, speaking of toothpaste, this is the best part. Speaking of toothpaste, if you turn your toothpaste bottle around and read the back, there's a, there's a warning label on your toothpaste that says, do not swallow poison. It contains fluoride. It do that. Wait, does it say that because it contains fluoride, though? Look at your toothpaste. It's poison. It says do not swallow. Poison. Okay, but if it's if if it's really poison, why am I not dead? Like, it poison means that it could potentially kill you, right? Like that's what poison yeah. is. Is yeah. unless like so, if I'm drinking public water, I just got this from the tap, like uh, yeah. right before the show. Yeah. I'm good, dude. Check it out. I'm still here. Like, what's going on? You know? I don't know. I don't know. You'd have to, you, like, I, I, I don't want to really comment on, on fluoride. It wasn't really the purpose of me calling tonight. But yeah, but, man, point. you can't just talk about was. fluoride like that and not let us talk. Like, that is, you cannot do, anyway. All right, I, I need to let Seamus have some time. I'm hogging all yeah, the time. Yeah, Seamus, yeah, Seamus no tell me what no you problem. think about this, man. Uh, which topic? I mean, he Dude, brought up like I don't even know. Eggs. Man, uh, we got so much the here. Fluoride, the fluoride, we got off topic. The gun control. Gun, yeah, okay. well, the gun control. Okay, so okay. Let, okay. let me ask you a question. Push of gun control. All right, let, let me ask you a question. You said in the beginning that uh, this whole idea was to disarm citizens, right? Yeah. Correct. Okay, so uh, the idea is that if we stay armed, then the government uh, couldn't enact some sort of militia or law that we could fight back. Correct. <clears throat> is that your? Is that what you're saying? Well, I'm. Uh, what I'm saying is that it's 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 the beginning of a slow process of complete disarmament of the American public. All right. Okay. So but let me, but let again, me, let me give you the example. So we we not. To, I'll be quick. We sure. we allow them to take our ARs ARs and and we allow them to take any assault rifle from all the other citizens. Everybody's saying, yeah, let's let's do that. Public safety. Meanwhile, it's not the leading cause of death. But we'll say, for example, we do that. Now, what's going to happen when somebody goes out and shoots a bunch of people with a handgun? We already gave the government the, the excuse to take uh, ARs away because they were using in mass shootings. So now someone does a mass shooting with a handgun. We can't stop them from doing the same thing they did with assault rifles. So now okay. we're going to be losing our handgun, mm. our handgun rights as soon as somebody does a mass shooting with a handgun. And people aren't really thinking about what they're doing when they're when they're voting or, or, or calling for an amendment on the Second Amendment or the alienation <clears throat> of the right of the Second Amendment. And nobody's been calling for that. People are just calling for uh, more regulations and background checks and common sense. Uh, and also uh, critiquing uh, the mental health aspect of it uh, that actually has been defunded over the years. Uh, but back to your point about them disarming, you do realize that um, if the government wants to kill you, they will kill you. They have drones that are they'll fly miles away. You'll never hear them, and you'll be dead before it's you know before you even know that they're there. Okay, uh, yeah. so this idea that they're taking our guns and it, it's it's a non sequitur, man. I mean, if they want to kill us, they can. There's nothing to it. And uh, also, there's a uh, a former justice that wrote an op-ed piece. I believe it was in the New York Times, but I could be wrong. And I apologies, I can't remember his uh, name either. Um, but he takes a real strict view at the um, Second Amendment and saying it is strictly for militia and therefore that we as citizens do not have a right to have arms. So, and again, I'm a gun guy. I love guns. I hunt. Okay. I, I used to be a cop. So, I mean, obviously I, I at least to have familiarity with guns, uh, but I don't, you know, I have an AR-15, but I don't think I need it. I don't need it to kill, uh, you know, a deer or anything. Sure. It's just a it's a pleasure weapon. That's all it is. It's recreational. 
Hmm. Uh, but, but whenever you're looking at, um, when you're saying that the, these are the things that are killing us, well, we have, what, 270 mass shootings already this year? And you look around the world, they don't have those issues. You know, and why? Because we have avail uh, availability to these uh, higher capacity weapons that kill. There's a reason why we're looking at mass shootings because they are you're more efficiently killing a larger amount of people, right? Yeah. So if we can at least limit that, that's one thing. I don't think anybody's going to say that you're going to eliminate gun deaths, that you're going to stop any sort of sure. uh, terroristic shooting, whether it be at a school, a mall, you name the location, right? Mm. But the only thing we can do is hopefully limit the body count. Why is that so hard? Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't, I don't understand why it's a big dish here. I really don't. What are your thoughts, Clinton? Okay, my, what I don't, what, like I said, what I don't understand is you're talking about a body count and you want to take away things that cause a body count. Let's talk about what's causing the biggest body count in our country. And nobody's calling for restrictions on cancer causing agents in our, in our foods that, you know, what? farmers are we, using or wait, in, our, in our, anything. We already what's have, we do for? that already though, right? Yeah. Isn't that what the FDA is? Monsanto is currently right now in in battle with people that are class actioning lawsuit Monsanto for the link of non Hodgkin's lymphoma and their yeah. product. Well, that's so, that's so, people so, fighting so though. You're saying nobody's yeah. fighting, but that's an example of people fighting it right there. I don't understand. Well, well I'm, that's an example of the government okaying something that kills us and then wanting to take something from us now, that's the, that doesn't kill us as much. Now, do corporate you know I mean? interests? Don't hear the government calling. We are going to stop cancer. We are yeah. going to stop any 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 products that could possibly yeah, cause. You can make that cancer. argument for about anything, Clinton. Sure. I mean, think about the opioid crisis. Okay, yeah. how many how many uh, congressmen and senators on board with that because they're getting paychecks from the uh, pharmaceutical companies? Sure, I mean and corporate and, interests so, yeah. are always going to be a thing for sure, and like yeah. lobbying is always going to be a thing. It's always been it's it's part yeah. of the American fabric at this point. Yeah. It, it's really a part of our history, yeah. and like I, I definitely agree with you that I wish other people, Clinton, focused on the same things that I was passionate about. And clearly, you're very passionate about this, but I don't know if it's a great argument to say, well, why do we need to care about this gun stuff when we have this other problem too? Because like we can do both like we can definitely solve a bunch of problems at once i don't think we have to completely devote our attention for one thing to another i think being aware of these issues and and talking about it with people and and trying to make a, as much real action out of it as possible is good like you know um the aca here for example i mean like we are obviously very big advocates of separation of church and state but uh we we provide a, a lot of different things for people we're like a refuge for people who um, are in the lgbt community who have been discriminated we we've we We've been a refuge for people who are have been discriminated in their homes uh, because of their religious beliefs. I mean, like you know, we do all kinds of stuff here, even as just a nonprofit that um, that help out. And like you know, other organizations, I'm sure do the same thing. Even if there are some that are just dedicated to one single causes. I don't know if if, if we have to say necessarily that oh, this thing can't be can't be a thing we need to look at anymore because it's it's just not as big as this other problem. You know, like there's always going to be more than one problem in the world. So well, the thing about it, the thing about it is is that we're 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 Messing with the Constitution and people's Second Amendment. But right? we mess with the Constitution. So That's big, what amendments what are makes, for, though. Amendments what, are what changes to the Constitution. Than any other matter. Yeah, I mean, like, but because we, the American about, people. About, listen, listen, well, listen. Well, the, there was, yeah. the most important amendment was the First Amendment, which was the freedom of speech. The next most important amendment that our forefathers thought would be important is the right to bear arms. Do you understand that? Yes, I understand sure. that. I mean, second, so so I won't. I, the freedom of speech. So is Clint, the right to bear arms. I'm I'm not I'm not disputing. Like my my goal here isn't to give an opinion on the gun control debate one way or the other. I think um I, you know obviously I've got opinions, but that, that's really outside the scope of what I'm really wanting to tease out here. I think like like I I think of that constitution and, and how it exists as a country is, is the result of the American people and, and what the American people want. And that's why we make those amendments because we feel that yes, it's a growing document. It's a growing changes. And, uh, you know, it, I will say I'm not as convinced by people who say, well, this is what the forefathers wanted because man, the forefathers thought some crazy shit, man. Like the forefathers also like owned slaves and like did all kinds of stuff that we wouldn't do today, you know? And so like, we have to understand that, yeah, there's going to be different cultures and, and contexts for that. You know, they didn't have AR-15s. They didn't have drone strikes. They didn't have all kinds of stuff. And again, I'm not I'm not going to uh, give a position one way or the other on this. tonight. Um, you know, I, again, I think it's outside of specifically what we're talking about here. But I think there's other things to consider if, if we're going to have conversations mm -hmm. about this. Uh, because yeah. and, and the forefathers aren't. They're they're not everything, man. Like they they are great people who who did a lot of great things, but they had flaws. They're people too, 
And um, they, they had obviously misconceived ideas that we can at least point to today and say, wow, we don't think that way anymore. Maybe gun control yeah. is one of those things. I don't know. I'm not going to say one or the other. But, Clinton, we do have other callers we want to get to. This was a very insightful call. I would love for you to call back because we need to talk more about this fluoride business, dude, because, like, that is a whole thing that we have not done on Truth Wanted that we need to do yeah. because that's that's some crazy shit right there. All right? So, All right, brother. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you both of you. Absolutely, Clinton. Looking forward to hearing from you again soon. See, there you go. Had a good conversation.